All right, I know that I haven't been recording too many videos, but I wanna show you this. I wanna create a flow with you. So check this out. You can now do crew AI create flow and let's give it a name. Let's say uh, sales pipeline. Boom, crew AI automatically create the initial folder structure, everything that you need. Let's go into that folder real quick, sales pipeline and boom, let's open it. Pipeline looks a lot like a crew initially. The difference is that you can have a crew within a sales pipeline. So you can have other crews in here and this main file now becomes your sales pipeline. So here's a quick example of trying to create a poem, but let's basically scrap this down and do our own thing. All right, so I just created our first book. Text out. Sales pipeline inherits from Flow, it's a new class in Crew AI, and you can basically create a set of functions. The first function that we want to execute is patch leads. And this has a start annotation. Our Flow node that is the starting point of the executions. And here we can pull data from the database if we want to. And as an example, I'm just faking returning an array, and my lead is Tom, kind of the CEO of Zendak. Just faking it in case we ever want to reach out to them. Then after that, you can have other functions that are listening for this function to finish. So check this out. We have a score leads function that is watching for fetch leads. So as soon as fetch leads is done, then it's gonna call a score leads, passing the leads along the way. Then we have a score leads score that is basically listening to score leads. But check this out. We have two functions listening for score leads. We have the store leads and the filter leads. Both get scores that we're gonna return in this function. So we can store them, we can filter them, and then check this out. Once that both functions are done, filter and storing, we can write an email and send the emails. All this is empty now, because now we get to view this with groups. So let me show you how we go about it. Now what I can do is I can go inside my cruise folder and I can do crew AI create crew and let's do lead enrichment crew. So lead enrichment. So this is gonna create the initial folder structure for the crew for us. So if we look at here, now we have this lead enrichment crew, but I also want another crew. I want an email writing crew. Now, those, both of those crews are going to be in there inside our crew folder. So let's do them real quick. Crews are super straightforward. You have the same structure as always where you have all your tools in here and you have your agents and tasks as YAML files. So let's generate those real quick. Right, so for crews are ready. Check this out. For our email crew, we have two agents, an email content specialist and an engagement strategist. And for our lead enrichment, we have basically a lead data agent, a score validation agent, a culture feature agent, then big tasks, basically trying to extract, find data, format data, do a whole analysis on leads for us. All right, so let's close this. We have our two crew ready. Let's use them in the pipeline now. This is done. We are importing our two crews right in here. You can see that we still fake core leads. We we're talking with them from Zendesk. And then we actually score the leads and there is a crew that does that. So this crew basically gets kicked off for each lead and it's gonna score them, it's gonna research them, do everything that we need to find information about this person, about this company, about their culture, everything that we need to actually talk with them. Then we're gonna store that information, the score, every enrichment data that we got, everything so that we can reference that later. And after we filter only for the leads that have more than a 70 score, what would be pretty high from zero to 100, we write an email and there was another crew in there that use the information from the leads to actually write a tailor-made email for that person at that company. And then we would send this email using whatever platform we need. Pretty cool and pretty interesting setup that we have going on in here. I also added some random code so that we can calculate how much this actually costs, given that we are using GPT-4.0. So let's run that. I want to run Crew AI flow plot. That will allow us to plot our flow so that we analyze it, share it, document it, whatever we want it. So let me start by running that and we're gonna run create AI flow following that. So let that run. Flow is created while it runs. Let me look at what it looks like. And there you go. This is our flow. We fetch leads, then we score them. And you can see that this is a crew because of the color. Then we can store these leads or we can filter them. And then we write an email and actually send that email. So there you go. Pretty easy, pretty straightforward. There's so many other options. We could use and, routers, ors. There's a lot going on in there that we could explore. Now, let's check our cruise execution real quick. So for our crew execution, the lead analyst kicks off. It starts to research that lead using Serper to find content on them basically scrapping web pages, everything that we need to find the information about this person. Now this is done. There's a bunch of information that we learned to it all. We can see the final score being 90, a very good role score, a very good company score, a very good market presence, and a very good cultural thing. So straight A's all across. And now we already filter the leads, and now we have the email content writer taking off to write an email for them. So let's check that out. 
And there you go, there's our email. There's a subject, unlock efficiency with Zendesk and AI automation. You can see that we're mentioning enhancing efficiency with something that's important for Zendesk. We talk about pre AI, we talk about streamlined workflows, probably things that we learned through research Zendesk in here. So, pretty straightforward. At the end of the day, this costed 0.018 plus. 0 0.00003 damn that's so low let's do some math here real quick let's send that plus 0 0.180 and this is how much it costs to enrich and write one email so what happened if you had to write 10,000 I would pay 183 dollars in tokens for doing this for 10,000 people we search them find the information and reach them and there's so many information that we found on town I'm going to show you that in a second there we go. I got it exported so that you can see in JSON format. So you can see the name, you can see the job title, the role relevance, nothing in the background professionally, but Zendesk, the industry, the company size, the revenue, the market presence, some score criteria and some validation notes. So we have a bit of information here that we could go to market with, that we could use for a meeting. And we could expand this in so many ways. I tried to cap it short and keep it simple, but there's so many different ways that you can use flows in order to have your proofs execute and basically do more stuff with it. All right, I'm gonna cut this one short. I catch you around. Thank you so much for using Create AI, and I catch you later. Have a good one. Bye bye.